Hello, and welcome to our Jana Marie Foundation Wellness Break. Thanks for being here. My name is Jackie. In case you are new to our little wellness breaks that we've been doing these past couple of weeks, the colors that you need for this painting are posted there. We're mostly going to need uh, blue and white are our main colors, and just a, a wee bit of black and red and yellow here. Michelle, you found me! <laughs> <clears throat> so we're going to be working on this this beach scene. We've got a sand dune here with some of these sea grasses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um this um I I hope reminds some of you of maybe the outer banks where you have those dunes and some some of that sea grass. So I've got I've got the beach on my mind today. I don't know if it it was because of uh, the weather was just rainy and windy and I, I just wish that I were somewhere sunny but actually if I look behind me yeah it looks like the sun the sun is out here in State College Pennsylvania finally so that's really nice so we'll get started in just a couple minutes I always like to wait a couple minutes and have everybody get here gather your supplies get your art space nice and organized maybe you've got your snacks and your drinks all your materials, maybe you want to put on some tunes. And as always, I want to thank Jana Marie Foundation for having me here. Uh, it's been a joy being here for you guys and you guys being here for me, uh, bringing me joy during these times. So thank you so much to Jana Marie Foundation. And if you're, if you're new, maybe you want to send um, as a thank you to Jana Marie Foundation, go to their website, janamariefoundation.org. Maybe as a thank you, just send them a couple of dollars, donate some, a couple of dollars here and there. I know they they would appreciate all help because of their major fundraiser that was canceled. So we want to help them out and uh, to continue to do all the great things they do in in State College and the in the surrounding areas. If you're a local uh, State College, you may have seen them on on the local news for all the the fun, uplifting signs they've been putting around downtown and around State College. So that was. That was really cool to see. <clears throat> uh, I just took a sip of my from my water bottle. I don't know about you, but I've not been doing well at uh, hydrating lately. I, I I don't know why, but hydration is important, guys. <laughs> So yeah, not just coffee these days, right? You gotta gotta drink that water. All right. So again, here is the the painting that we're working on. If you want to take a picture of that, someone in your house has a cell phone that you can use to take a picture or a screenshot, so you can use it as a reference. This is what we're working with today. Again, the materials. You can use pretty much anything you have around the house, crayons, markers, pastels, chalk, even a, a pencil drawing, colored pencils, whatever you got, you can you can follow along and we'll we'll create some art today on what turned out to be a really beautiful Thursday in State College. In the morning it was kind of ooh, <laughs> windy and rainy. But we are looking good right now, and I'm so happy that you guys are here with me. So, how about we get started? Move this over here. Uh, just a reminder, or for those of you who are new, there is a, a, a delay on the comments. So if you have a question or need me for something, uh, don't worry, I will see it. It just might take a second or two. All right, so let's, let's do this. Let's do this nice, nice beach scene. <clears throat> I'm just gonna place the original painting where I can see it. Oh, did it, Lisa? Where are you, Lisa? What? Where is it pouring raining? All right. So I'm gonna grab my big brush here. So this is what my big brush looks like. I typically like to use, oh, in New York City, oh gosh, um, 
This is uh, my big flat brush. I like working at, with one with an angle. If you have one of those, those are great. So let's, let's start with some white paint. Let's just give ourselves a nice um, base of white. And we're going we're gonna to put this white down, oh, about halfway, right? If we look at our original here, I'm going to take this white down to about midway might be just a little bit more than midway, but really it's up to you. Where do you want this horizon line to be? And that's where you're gonna bring your white down to. Okay, so I'm just gonna do something really kind of quick. I just wanna get a, a nice light coat of white there. That's gonna help us with our sky in a moment. I don't know if you can tell, but my brush still has a bit of black paint in it from earlier today, so I'm getting a little gray, but that's okay. Washing your brushes is very important, but sometimes we're in a hurry. <laughs> All right, so I'm going down to about here for my horizon line, right here, and I'm just going to get off all of that excess white paint in there again with my remnants of black in there Woo! that that brush is definitely dirty <laughs> you just scrape off that gray that's okay though that could be a happy accident for us actually all right so now i want to um i'm not going to wash my brush I still have that white on there and that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go into some blue and a little goes a long way, right? So we can always add more blue. It gets more difficult to take it away if we go into hot and heavy with the blue. Um, I'm just gonna tap in just a little bit like that. And um, you can do, you know, uh, horizontal strokes. We've been doing that a lot lately. Um, or you can do the crisscross swish and flick. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine where I want my big white fluffy clouds to be. And I'm just going to kind of avoid that area, right? So I'm just going to imagine that I have these big puffy white clouds. They're almost kind of like a little mountain over here. So I'm just going to avoid the area that I want to have sky. So I'm just going to start blending my blue at the top and if we want to get technical we want to keep the top part of our sky a little bit darker then as we go down we want it to lighten up just a bit so I might go in with some more blue here and again I'm gonna kind of keep in mind that I want my mountainous cumulo nimbus is that it uh, my cloud to be kind of over here and then I can kind of see sky here maybe okay and then in my world I can see sky right as it touches the ocean so I have something like that again you can have a smooth uh, horizontal stroke um, but I think the crisscross stroke works better for me here because I can I can kind of sketch out these clouds, right? All right. Ooh, this is nice and relaxing already. I don't know about you. Something about painting on a canvas that just, ooh, it's good therapy for me. Very relaxing. That's why I loved watching uh, Bob Ross. He just, oof, mesmerizing and relaxing and his tone of voice. Hi, Luke. Um, yeah, he was awesome. I'm trying to remember if I had to be sick home from school to watch him before he was on after school. I don't remember. Or was maybe Price is Right was when you were sick home from school. All right. How about that? So my clouds are not done yet, right? I just kind of plan them out, okay? Oh yeah, do we have do we have experts in the house? <laughs> I'm always 
forgetting my scientific names of clouds here. All right. So I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling that. I kind of like that. So I might actually, as I say that, I might add in just a little, hi, Anya, just a little smidgy. Um, well, oh, Ida, I don't think I knew you were in, uh, I'm assuming you guys work for AccuWeather. I don't know. Um, just add a little bit more blue up there. So our clouds are not done yet, but we've done ourselves a big favor by leaving them blank for now, right? Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty much it for the blue part of our sky. Okay. So now <laughs> we're gonna crowdsource this information here, figure out what these clouds are. Um, so. For now, I do want to wipe off any excess paint from my brush. And I want to give that brush a nice, good, clean rinse. Because we want to go into some white and then fluff up these clouds. Make them nice and fluffy. Again, I always stress that you want to wipe off as much paint as you can before you rinse. It just extends the, the life of your water, first of all, but it also extends the life of your brushes. All right. I, I wish you guys could see. So behind me is a big window and we have one of those cat hammocks, I guess, that hang in the window. And we've been putting out bird seed, which of course the squirrels are eating. But my, my cat has made several friends with two gray squirrel, two, two gray squirrels and red squirrel. Oh man, I, I, I'm going to try to, if you guys humor me for a second, I'm going to try to show you guys what's happening right now. All right. So there's the cat and there's the squirrel. <laughs> cat tail <laughs> wagging. And this this has been our entertainment. <laughs> Look, I'm a squirrel. I'm riding a bike. No big deal. Okay. I just I thought I'd share that. Uh it's it's sort of been our entertainment. Um, these past weeks here. Um, oh man. And, and what was that, Matt? A red tailed hawk that swooped down earlier. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. I barely caught it out of the corner of my eye, but this red tailed hawk just like swooped down. I think he was trying to get something, but he was not successful, but oof, just gorgeous. Okay. Back to painting. <clears throat> I'm just going to make sure my brush is dry. Willie, Nikki says hi. She's a little busy right now, but she'll get back to you. All right. So let's, let's fluff up these clouds. I'm going to take my big brush, which is now clean. Ooh. So I just got a phone call and I declined it. So I, I don't know how that interrupts the live feed at all. So hopefully we're good. All right. So. Um, I'm going to dip my, my clean dry brush into some white. Again, a little goes a long way and I'm going to use the, the brush stroke. That's kind of like, I'm pretending to sign my name. I'm just like pretending to write in cursive basically. So just like curly cues, swirlies, and I'm just gonna swirly swirl up into some of the blue and that's going to soften up those blue corners. And I might need some more white paint. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get up into those blue edges and kind of soften up those edges. And then we can, we actually get kind of a mixture between the blue and white, and that's really fun. Again, you might need to start with um, a little bit of paint 
before you go in and add thicker amounts of paint just to kind of get a feel for how the paint is reacting oh yeah I am definitely channel channeling some Bob Ross here with this one huh Oh, this is definitely my therapy. Oh, I want to be at this beach. How do we like that? That's fun, right? Get those nice, wispy, soft edges. And you can just kind of play. You get those very subtle blends with um, the blue and the white together. Cool stuff. So that's, this is a, a cloud technique that you can kind of practice if you have, you know, just some cardboard or, you know, pretty much anything to just kind of practice that brush stroke and practice with like, how much white do I need? How much blue do I want to mix with? Okay. So that's feeling pretty good about that. How are you guys doing? My sense is that you're doing awesome and that you have these big, happy, fluffy clouds. I can just, I can feel it as it comes out of my iPhone camera right now. I'm going to take a minute to get some water. Water to drink, not for my brush. I don't know. Something is telling me that Anya is giving me a ton of thumbs up right now. <laughs> Um, all right, so now that we've got those big fluffy clouds, um, what we can do to give some dimension and depth to our clouds is we can add some very subtle, like lavender grays, okay? And you don't have to do this part. If you want your, your clouds to be big and white and fluffy and bright and sunny and happy, that's totally cool. Um, I do tend to like to add a little a little depth and dimension with other with other colors so for this one I'm gonna make like a lavender gray so I got that I have that white still on my brush right and I'm probably gonna get some more white I'm gonna grab some more white paint here and just with the smidgiest of smooches of black so I'm just barely touching did I even touch it no, I didn't even touch it. Just a wee bit, a smidgy smooge of black there. Um, I'm just going to start working up a color down here. That even might be too much black. So I'm going to add a little bit more yellow. Oh my goodness, more white. And a little smidgy smooge of red. And a little smidgy smooge of blue. And I'm going to get this and a lavender. I think I need more red. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to test that on my um whatever this is called, tablecloth. So yeah, I think that'll do. Um I might add just a little bit more white just in case. It'll be darker than you think it is. Any color that you make will be darker on the canvas than you think. So I'm just going to blend in some more white there. And same same brush stroke. Same brush stroke. Um I'm just going to kind of add some depth and shadow to, you know, wherever wherever I want to really. But I'm just kind of adding a little bit of dimension and some interest where I think, you know, these are the clouds, the parts of the clouds that are hiding from the sun. So they're not getting that full brightness. So I guess for me, my, my brightness is coming from, from this direction. So just a little, little 
depth. Now the great the great thing about this is if you do add color and you're like I don't like that at all, um, you can just let it dry and you can go over that with white paint later. That's um, that's the cool thing about acrylics at least. Um, so something like that. All right, that's pretty much it with our sky, right? So. Oh, I can just make clouds all day. I love clouds. Okay, so once we're done with our sky, we can wipe off our brush, get off any excess glops of paint there. And again, we want to give our brush a nice, good, clean rinse because we don't want any of that white paint to get in the way of our next color. And our next colors are going to be um, used to make our ocean. And we don't want the white to get in there to, to bother what we're doing there. So make sure we get all that excess paint off and give your brush a nice, good, clean rinse. All right. Give that a nice wipe in my paper towel. I want that to be nice and dry. All right. For me, I always kind of wipe it on my arm just to make, so if I can feel if it's dry. I don't know, it's just me. Okay, so. Drink of water. Now let's, let's take a look at our ocean. So you might notice that at the horizon line, the ocean is quite dark. And then as it comes closer to us, it lightens up and that's done on purpose. So we're going to try to make that the ocean that's farthest away from us. We'll make that nice and dark. Okay. Why is it dark? Well, because it's not, it doesn't have the land directly underneath of it. Like the shore does. So that's just a deeper, darker blue. And to do that, we're going to add some black to it, but we're going to do that not first. So let's, let's start with first things first. I'm going to go into my blue paint. Go into my blue paint. And I'm going to just find my horizon line again. I don't have a lot of paint just yet. Just kind of figuring things out here. Let's get some more paint there. All right, mine's kind of a little bit scratchy, so I'm just gonna go over that again, just to get that as smooth and crisp as I can. So we're not, we're not, by the way, um, we're not going all the way down with the blue just yet because we do wanna leave leave our sand dunes um, open, right? So just like how we planned and left our clouds free, we, we don't wanna go all the way down yet because we want our um, sand dunes to, to go right over top of the white canvas. might be I'm gonna give it one more go with this brush I think I'm being a little bit too conservative with my paint here here we go here we go whoops
There we go. All right. Now, um, with a very, very dry brush, but still with the blue paint on it. So I'm just wiping off as much as I can. Okay. I want to plan out. Hey, James. I just want to plan out where my dune is going to be. Right. Because I don't need to paint that whole area with, with blue. It's just not going to. It's going to make our life really difficult later on when we try to put that light color on top of it. So I'm just going to kind of plan where my dunes live in the blue paint. And then I can kind of, you know, work around them with my ocean. So that's, that's where my dunes are there. Yay, thanks, James. And we love James Tierney. And Happy Valley Improv. <laughs> so now I'm going to bring down all that blue down to the bottom here. I can add, get some more blue on my brush. Right. And these dunes, that line doesn't have to be crisp and perfect just yet, right? We don't have to worry too much about that. Um, but what I do want to do now is I want to get the smidgiest of smooches of black. And I might want to add just a little bit of blue in my brush. Okay. And a little goes a long way. A little black goes a long way. We don't want to go too crazy because we'll turn the ocean black. And that would be kind of scary. I don't know about you. So I got a little smidgy smooch of black. And I want to darken up that blue right up to the horizon line. Right? So I'm just going to do some blendy blend back and forth. Right? And I can get up right to that horizon line just to show that 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 ocean water is farther away. It does not have land or a sandbar underneath it to reflect light. So it's just super dark. Well, not super dark. It's darker. Darker by comparison. How about that? And then if we want to get real fancy, you might have green paint to make your, your ocean a bit more green blue, but I don't have green right now, but I do have blue and yellow and that's, that's just as good. So if I want, I can kind of add a little smidgy of yellow and get a little green happening. And I can add maybe a little green blue just to add different kind of ocean color here. And you might notice that in, um, with the sky, we were doing our little crisscross swish and flick. But for the ocean, I want I want to do that horizontal stroke because that's how the water kind of exists. It's just like long horizontal planes of water and waves, right? Waves roll in um, horizontally. How about that? How are we doing, folks? I think we're looking good. I can just feel it. I don't know, maybe it's the sunny day. I'm feeling some positive vibes popping through my iPhone camera. And I know that we have some some regulars out there painting along and I, I just, I'm so excited that you guys join in Tuesdays and Thursdays and paint with me. And I don't know, I feel like you guys have been improving your art skills even. This is just a wellness break to have fun, but you guys are just really awesome artists. So good work. All right, let's have some fun. Let's add some, some waves, okay? So if we look in the original, you might not be able to see, but we've got these very, very subtle little touches of white, and that's to indicate that those waves are rolling in, right? Um, and remember, this is our, this is our sand dune. So this isn't, this isn't our, um, whatchamacallit, 
where the sand meets the water, the shore. So this is not the shore, right? For me, this is a sand dune. So if you want to paint a shore, um, you wouldn't put the grasses there. Or if you wanted, you would. But um, I'm thinking the Outer Banks. And at the shoreline, you don't have these tall grasses, right? They would be just, like, pummeled over. Um, but if you want to do the shore, then you might want to have some, like, white spray at the very edge of the water. Okay. Um, what am I talking about? Who are we? Where are we? Oh, right. So let's add some some waves kind of rolling in the distance. So here's where um, a flat brush will come in handy. I still have my uh, blue paint on the brush, and that's totally fine. But I'm going to wipe off as much as that extra. If I have like a big old glop of blue, I'm going to wipe that off. And I'm just going to dip the tippity tips of my brush in there. Okay. And I'm going to use it as kind of like a little little stamper. I'm just going to test it out here. And that's kind of what we're doing. Just the, these little tappy taps. Okay. Now. If we want to get fancy, the waves that are farthest away from us are going to be super tiny and they're going to be closer to the horizon line. So let's say something, well, we got to get more paint on there if we actually want to see what's happening. How about that? So those, those waves that are breaking far, far off in the distance are going to be small and they're going to be closest to the horizon line. So those are just wee wee little waves breaking in the distance there and then as we get the waves rolling in closer to us they're going to be bigger and longer and as they move closer to us even bigger and thicker and longer Okay, so just just kind of tap, tap, tap with our white paint. And then we get we get this idea that these waves are rolling in from all the way back there and then coming in towards us. Cool. I dig it. How are we doing? Good. Sweet. I'm liking this. It feels like I'm almost there at the beach. So... For our sand dunes, we're going to get real fancy and delicate because we got to mix up this sandy color and the sandy color is mostly white with the smidgiest of smooches of black, the smidgiest of smidgiest and smooches of yellow and red. Okay, so basically think gray and orange, right? So white and black for the gray and then just a wee bit of orange with red and yellow. So let's let's try to make that happen. So I'm going to wipe off my excess light blue. And I'm going to clean my brush. Give it a good clean rinse. Right. Just wipe this off. All right. So again, we want to start with mostly white. Mostly white. A little smidgy smooch of black to make it a little gray. And then we're going to add red and yellow just a little bit to kind of make it a bit more sandy looking. And here's where everybody's sand color is going to be a little different. And that's okay because there's like tons of different colors of sand, right? So I'm starting with mostly white here. Just a little smidgy smooch of black. Maybe a little bit more than a smidgy. Okay, so there's my gray. And grab a little smidgy smooch of yellow. So now I'm going to have almost like an olive -y color. 
Add a little bit more of that. And then a little smidgy smooch of red. And I think I need to add a little bit more yellow. Yeah, we're almost there. That's a little bit too greenish, so I'm going to add some red. So if you have if you have a sand that's looking kind of olive green, then the red will tone that down. All right, I think I'm almost there. I'm going to test this on my very fancy dollar store. Yeah, that's that's about right for me. Okay? And um then I'm just going to kind of fill out my dunes here. And you can kind of crisscross. You can do stampy stampy to get kind of the texture of sand if you want. It's really up to you. Do a little bit of both. And if you're mixing, again, if you're mixing with the ocean just a little bit, that's fine. We can totally work with that. Oh, sure. <laughs> Here, let's show that, that finished painting again. Here you go. Give you a few seconds there to take a picture of that. All right. I think that should be fine. And we're back in business over here. Something like that. Now, I think because I said my light source is coming from here, maybe I want to add some darker sand color. Kind of like how I did with my clouds. But I got my sand color. I might add just a little smidgy of black. And I'm just going to give a little shadow to my dunes on the left side. And I already noticed a, a difference from my original painting here. Um, so here the sun is coming from this way because the shadows are cast that way. But in my current painting it's going to be opposite. So just figure out where your, your sun light is coming from, and that's where your um, shadows will be cast. All right. How about that? Oh, this kind of is almost turning into a path down to the water. Okay. How are we doing, team? We are ready for grass or sea oats or beach foliage. I have no idea what the technical term is. But for that, we are going to mix some green if we don't if we don't have green already. My brush is still kind of dirty from that sand color and that's totally fine. Just going to start 
working my green over here, touching into that blue, grabbing some yellow. And for me, that is just a really bright green. So I'm going to touch a smidgy smooch of black to kind of tone that down. Give that a test, testeroni on my tablecloth, but still a wee bit bright. So yeah, if you're mixing a green and it's like, oh my gosh, this is like atomic, toxic looking green, um, you can tone it down with a smidgy smooch of black. Let's see. I think I've almost got it. I might even tone it down even more with some white to make it a bit more gray. Ooh, I think we're almost there. Just a little bit more black. Yeah, something like that. All right. I think, I hope this brush is going to be working with me today. My larger brushes, just because I use them so often, I think they're they're almost ready for not being used for thin lines. Let's see. So I'm going to pick out where my seagrass is, and I'm not going to be afraid to go right up into my sky and my clouds. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not the thin line I wanted from that brush. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try this one. I might have to retire that bad boy. I'm going to try this brush. Let's get some more paint worked up in here. Could also just mean that I don't have enough paint on my brush. All right, let's try that again. There we go. That's the kind of brush I want to use. And yeah, I do need more paint. I'm just not mixing enough paint, so I'm getting kind of a sketchy light. <laughs> Willie, are your friends back? I can't tell. All right, so I'm just going to just keep pulling out these grasses here, they're kind of blowing in the wind. Oh, take me away to the beach. How about that? That's fun. So I have some grasses coming in in the middle here. I'm going to make this one tall and thin. Oh, so that's a good trick. If you have um, ever have a line that's t thicker than you want, just make it longer and it will look thinner. Right? So this, this one was a bit thick and scratchy, so I'm just going to make him the biggest one there. And that kind of helps me out here. All right. So I got those grasses there, and I'm going to have some more popping in over here. Kind of like barely on the canvas. We're poking out here and everywhere. And I got some over here too. Cool. We are we are almost at the beach, guys. We are almost there. <laughs> I'm in my basement. 
staring at a lot of boxes, but I am almost at the beach. Okay, so now what I want to work on is a color that's going to do double duty for us. It's going to be a dark shadowy color that's going to work for the actual shadows of these grasses and for the little tippy tops. Um, I don't know what these things are. I, I call them sea wheat um, or sea oats. I don't know. So they have these little kind of fluffy tops and I'm going to use a dark shadowy color for that and I can use it double duty for the tops of those and also the shadow cast down in the sand. Um, whoo! cover of my lamp <laughs> and I knocked it and I gave myself a really good scare I might add because of the noise Woo! Um, I'm one of those people who, who will jump at anything <laughs> I hope I didn't scare you guys all right I'm sorry for the noise oh we'll just forget it we don't need it <laughs> okay I'm just gonna use it as a bangle how about that um, we'll put that back <laughs> in uh, after our video. Okay. Woo. My heart is beating. Okay. So now, um, I have that, <laughs> that green color on my brush, right? And I can, I can take advantage of that to make my shadow color. Okay. Um, so to do that, I'm going to still work in that, that green, but I can cut it with some red. That's going to darken it up and kind of turn it kind of a brown color. Also add some yellow. So that's actually a, still a lot of green happening there, we can see. So I'm gonna add some red there to get some brown happening. I'm also gonna add a little touch of black to darken that up. Yeah, I think we're I think we're almost there. Okay. Now, I don't know where that green came from. I missed that. Okay, so with this dark color. I'm going to um, use it as a stamp and just stamp on those those tops. They kind of look like wheat. Um, another technique is kind of pulling out feathers like this. That's another way to do it. So you can kind of stamp it and then pull out feathers even. I mean, it's lots of different ways to do this. How about that? Okay. Now, that same color, I'm going to pull out the shadows of um, my grasses here. And I'm gonna to need to hold my canvas to, to get the right angle. But for me, the, the light source is coming from this side, again, because our clouds are darker on the left, our dunes are darker on the left, so my shadows are gonna go left. So I'm just gonna go from the base of each grass and just, you know, pull out a little shadow. Something like that. You don't have to go too crazy about it, right? Just to give the idea. Now for these, um, the shadow, for me, I want to create the, the idea that there's like a little footpath here that's been um, pressed down by people walking. So I'm just going to, I'm going to follow that path and then pull. And that's going to kind of help give the idea that there's a little footpath there. Okay. Cool. We are almost there. So yeah, there's my little footpath and that's why we have some flip-flops hanging out. Those are that those are flip-flops, at least that's what they're supposed to be. Um so actually before I do my flip-flops, I'm going to add a bunch of of white to this brush to make a gray. A very very light gray. And I can add my seagulls. I have some seagulls here in the original one here. So I'm just gonna add those in. Okay. 
something like that. It's better if you have a small brush. Okay. We are so at the beach now, guys. We did it. Now let's take off our flip-flops and leave them in the sand and go ahead for that beach. Let's go into that water. So, woo! <laughs> Just <laughs> banging my poor um, stand here. I got this really awesome stand that holds my iPhone and has that lamp, and I'm just like banging it um, and giving myself a jump at the same time. Okay, so flip-flops. Mine are red. What color are your flip-flops? So, for these old flip-flops, I'm just going to go into some red. And I might dull it with a little bit of that color that we had worked on for our shadow. Yeah. All right, and then my flip-flops, I kicked off my flip-flops, oh, right here. And just going to, they look like, well, you know what flip-flops look like, right? So just like a little footprint. Add two of those there, like that. Actually, I think for scale, I think those flip-flops would be much bigger than that, actually. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Grab some more red there. Just kind of get those a bit more crisp I'm so glad that um, the camera doesn't face on me because I'm the more I sit here and feel my face, it's probably doing the weirdest things <laughs> as I'm painting. All right. Let's add some straps. Okay. Little brush. I'm totally going to cheat and use my liner brush. If you have a liner brush that, that comes in handy, um, I'm going to get some of that red and I'm going to darken it up with some black. And I'm going to add the straps to my um, flip-flops here. And with that same darker color, I'm going to add some shadow to the left side. How about that? Something like that. Go. All right. I don't know about you, but I just took my flip-flops off and I'm ready to head down to the water. So it looks like we did it. We got to the beach on a Thursday in State College, Pennsylvania, or wherever you guys are at. I think some of y'all are in Ohio, West Virginia, New York City. Um, wherever you guys are at, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you had some fun and this was a, a nice highlight to your day, a little moment to go to the beach as we are all stuck at home. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for, I look forward to this. You guys bring me so much joy and it's such a pleasure to be here, uh, leading you guys painting. Um, I feel like I've met new friends doing this. So thank you so much, uh, to Jana Marie Foundation for letting me be here. 
uh, uh, hosting one of their wellness breaks. Again, as a thank you to them, even if it's just a couple of dollars, if you want to go to their website, janamariefoundation.org, and as a th- <laughs> excuse me, as a thank you for these little wellness breaks, they've been doing a ton of great programming um, now with the with the um, stay at home orders, but also um, when they're out and about. And hopefully that'll be soon. But when they're out the about out and about in the community, they do great things for State College area. So we love Jan Marie Foundation, and thank you guys so much for for inviting me. Um, I will be um, painting again on Tuesday next week on my own Facebook page. That's Paint with Jackie. So that's on Tuesday. I don't know what the date is, <laughs> but it's a Tuesday. Um, I'll be there on Tuesdays at 2 o'clock um, for as long as this crazy stay-at-home stuff goes on. So that's where I'll be on Tuesdays at 2. And who knows, maybe Jan Marie Foundation will, will have me back on Thursdays. So this was all we had on the schedule for Jan Marie Foundation for Thursdays, but uh, maybe they'll have me back. We'll stay tuned for that. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, and please share your photos. We love, love, love seeing the photos of your artwork, whether it's on canvas, paper, uh, paper plate, cardboard, whatever you got. Uh, we love seeing those photos. They bring us so much joy. So just um, I think the, the easiest way is to put them down in the, the comments um, when everybody's done. Again, thanks for being here. My name is Jackie of Paint with Jackie. This has been a Jana Marie wellness break, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.